Y'all don't know how much I'm feeling myself in this look. Just, which is why, obviously, it is my everyday routine because I love it so much. It's so pretty. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. This is your very first time here. So today, we are going to be creating this everyday makeup routine. I do do these videos occasionally, and I definitely wanted it to be my first video of 2020 just to give you guys an updated routine. All the products that I'm loving in my staple products that I use to create this on a regular schmegular basis. I, if you have not yet hit subscribe, I need y'all to do that right now. Right now. I don't want you to miss out on any uploads that I got coming your way. I got some really exciting content coming, a beauty room tour, an equipment tour, some stuff about how to be an influencer, how to grow as an influencer on Instagram. All types of good stuff that you don't want to miss. So please make sure that you have hit that button below so that you are updated and hit that notification bell as well so that you do get a notification on your phone when the uploads go up. So without further ado, let's hop right into this tutorial. Oh, it is not every day that I give you guys an up close, very detailed skin tutorial. That's what we are going to do today. We want to start off the new year right and get our foundation routine corrected so that it's a beautiful year you know what i'm saying of course obviously i started with my brows but i uh, haven't been doing my brows on camera for a very long time i probably should have did it today since it is 2020 but you know just a new start but um for my brows ooh, nice maya for my brows, I did use this Oof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. And I've been using this on my brows for a while. I do kind of prefer something that's a little more sharp than this, but it gets the job done. When you're focusing on the skin and you wanna do like your everyday routine, you wanna make sure your skin is moisturized. I feel like that's one of the most important things. Also, take care of your skin, have a good skincare routine, because if your skin is looking crazy underneath your makeup, your makeup's probably gonna look even crazier on top of it. So, skincare, routine is number one after that you do want to make sure that your skin is nice and moisturized so the first thing that I'm gonna go into is this face milk and this is from fourth ray beauty um, which is a sister company ColourPop. and you pretty much put this in the palms of your hands and then you just rub it into your face and it's kind of like a moisturizing cream Loki that just helps to bring out the moisture in your skin before you start piling the products on so on top of that I'm gonna go in with my primer the primer that I've been loving that I think I'm going to continue to use in 2020 is this milk hydro grip primer if you don't know about this primer then i don't know you must be sleep or not really in the beauty community because this is popping i feel like this has been like the go-to go primer for so many people lately to make sure my primer is evenly distributed i do do three different pumps on my face and then just massage it into the skin you don't want to actually massage it into the skin as much as like your skincare because you do want that layer of protection to be there but you know what I mean just create that layer so a staple for me foundation wise has always been this NARS natural radiant foundation and this is in the color Macau this is my shade who let me tell y'all something about this foundation I know you probably already have heard great things about this foundation but the formula is so beautiful it's not like super super matte so you do kind of get like a dewy finish as well but if you're looking for a staple foundation for 2020, I would highly recommend this one. So I pretty much just put a few pumps on the back of my hand and with my finger, I'm just gonna dab it everywhere and then I'm gonna blend it out. Sometimes our ladies at Sephora don't do the best job when helping us <laughs> choose a shade. So just a quick little tip, if you are macking yourself or you don't trust our beauty counter, people it's always matched to your chest if you can see this looks like it's too light for me but if you look at my chest I'm raise up a little bit oh hold up you raise up a little bit you can see that that color does co coincide with my chest and I want all this to be the same color and no point in matching your face because this color will be different from this color because my face is darker than my body so you kind of want to bring it all together I'm gonna take this blending brush which is from elf this is my favorite blending brush that I've been using actually for a while now to blend out my foundation and I'm just going to start buffing this into the skin another thing that I love about this foundation is it has a very natural finish it doesn't give you like a cakey look and it is build look at me make a ball in my hair it is buildable it is a full coverage foundation but 
you can build it to be even more full coverage. So I kind of, I've kind of feel like I get medium slash full coverage with this because you see it is covering, but you know, if you're going for more of a beat, 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 pile it on. I mean, I ain't gonna judge you. And I am gonna go ahead and add a little to my neck. And then sometimes I do feel like I need some extra coverage in this area. So I'm just gonna add some more foundation and blend that out. And ladies, don't forget to blend under your neck, especially if you don't hit your neck, then you might not have that blendability from the face to the neck. And that line of demarcation is not cute. So I am gonna go ahead and contour First, I think this is a, something that I'm gonna change in my beauty routine for 2020. Before, I would do my concealer and highlight first, but now I feel like it's beneficial to contour first, just to make sure you don't mix the colors and to get it where you want it to be. Just trying to perfect the skin for the new year. You know, we level one up on all levels. And this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this is in Dark Coffee. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the perimeter of my forehead. Just bring her in a little bit. And then also, my cheekbone area and I am a nose contourer so I am gonna put a little bit down my nose and if you're not new to my channel then you know that I always use this real techniques brush to blend out my contour and that ain't changing in 2020 I'm gonna just buff this out I just go in circular motions to buff it because see you can just see the slight change of color that's what i want and we're talking every day i don't want something that's super super deep usually i will use my l'oreal infallible concealer but the shade that i have is so dark that i don't really like it for every day so that's why i do go for this nars one instead and i take an angled brush and I use this to contour down my nose and I'm bring it straight down. Of course, I'm gonna be blending because we never wanna see those two straight lines going down your nose, but. So I start there and then I start to blend into the skin. And I actually love the shape of my nose, but I do like to contour just to create, you know, just a finished makeup look. And to mute that a little bit, I'm gonna go in with the butt of my Beauty Blender and just tap over that line. So now we're gonna go into highlighting. The shade that I'm gonna go into first, I'm gonna use two different shades, is Amande from NARS. Obviously, these NARS face products, skin products, to me, are the MVPs. Like, I just like the way that it makes your skin look and feel and the finish of it, it's just beautiful. So this is their mini concealer. They do sell these, um, I believe at Sephora, and you can purchase these. This is the mini one and this is in Amande. So I am using the applicator. Sometimes I don't like to use the applicator, but for this, I am gonna go ahead and use the applicator. <laughs> I feel like I've been getting so serious more lately about just skin and the skin finish that I haven't always given that a lot of attention. Because in the past, I've been more focused on eyeshadow looks and stuff like that. But I think that 2020 is the time that I do want to start dedicating more time and energy towards doing this because I do love just to have a complete, flawless skin. You know? I feel like that's everything. You don't need all the other stuff if you got that. And I'm gonna blend this out with my Beauty Blender. But I don't wanna move the product, so I am actually going around where I placed it and kind of blending that into the skin so that you can still see the highlighted and not take it away. And to fix this kind of line of demarcation, I just go to the butt of my Beauty Blender and just blend that. Now, I do wanna take a brush to this in the nose area just because I want it to stay where it is. If I can find a brush to do that with, then that would be great, Maya. This is like one of my, like my second time doing this with a brush and I love the precision. Obviously, we're not gonna stay like that, but <laughs> I like the precision that the brush does provide in certain areas so that you really get the look that you want. I'm about to mute this with the Butter Beauty Blender, but you know, you can just see it better and really create the look and stuff like this is the only reason why i do see why certain people don't like to do eyes first because you really can give the skin the attention that it needs because it is low-key the star of the show because it's your whole face right I 
do like to add a little bit of a brighter concealer underneath the eyes just to maybe in other spots slightly <laughs> just to you know brighten up make it more of a glam thing this is completely optional pretty much just to glam it up or add a little bit more dimension to your highlight when I do this I just put it kind of like right there and anywhere else that I want to brighten sometimes that'll be down my nose sometimes and I'm just gonna put like a couple little dots not too much and a little bit on my cubic bow and to create our chiseled look um, we are going for something more natural but I do take the excess concealer that's here and just put it like right here I don't even bring it all the way but just putting it there do you see the difference you can kind of see it from the side it just gives you that more you know just a little just a little something extra just a little something extra and typically time wise if I'm doing all of this which I do do occasionally it takes me about 15 minutes now I do makeup a lot so of course it's gonna take me a little shorter but when you're first starting out it might take a little longer but you know as you get used to what you're doing and you know your steps and all that jazz it goes a lot faster so I'm gonna go ahead and set this I'm gonna go into our OG powder this is Laura Mercier translucent powder and I always set with my beauty blender I just like the finish that I get so make sure you ain't got no creases I do have creases under the eye so I'm just making sure those are all gone before I set and I just take the beauty blender dip it in the powder and then put it on the back of my hand before I put it on my face and then go in with it and I do like to press it into the skin and make sure your beauty blender is damp of course and then I press And for precision, I am going to go ahead and take a brush for the nose. So I'm going to dip into that powder, blow it a little bit, and precisely put it where it needs to go. So I'm going to leave that down the nose for now so the nose can bake a little bit just so I get that dimension that I need for the nose. I'm going to go into my Minted Skin Silk. You can use any skin tone powder. This is the one I've been loving lately. Um, Laura Mercier also has a medium deep powder as well. Very similar to this shade but I have been loving this one so much lately. And look at the really rich deep color. It's just a very beautiful color for women that's about my complexion and they even have one that is deeper than this so this is not the darkest option which is absolutely amazing for this I do use my beauty blender to actually press it into the skin underneath my contour I love using a skin tone powder to do this right here so that it's not so stark baked you know also like to press it into the skin with the butt of the beauty blender in my smile lines and sometimes I will let that sit which is what we're about to do for a moment because my smile lines do get pretty crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and with a fluffy brush right into this powder and dust the rest of the face and this is gonna set the skin so we're not using a beauty blender for this because we don't want to bake it we don't want it to be brighter we just want it to be set now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and the bronzer that I'm gonna use today is from a minted and I've been using this for a while I also love the bronzers from Fenty and I also love the prime beauty bronzer which is a very beautiful bronzer since I'm going natural she does have two they do have two in this collection season one and then there's season two and as you can see season two is darker than season one I'm gonna start off with season one and I do use this one to contour my nose just to you know set the set the con, con set the concealer that I put around my nose because this color is not super dark and I don't want it to be overwhelming for everyday flawless you know and like I said I always go in with my beauty blender just to mute the lines and I actually want to see how deep this color actually is if I use it as a bronzer I actually like this I think I'm gonna keep with season one for every day just to bronze the face and bring a little warmth back in but not like contour deep color and that's kind of what I get with the season two duo so I do want to stick with season one just to bring our color back in so while I go in with my eyes just to finish off my eye and do something cute I am gonna bake a little bit so I'm gonna press the powder 
on my under eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a moment so I am gonna add a little concealer to the eyes and blend it out of course at this point you can go crazy with the eyes or whatever it is that you want to do but <laughs> I'm going to keep this real nice and natural today. Something easy for every day. This is typically my go-to. And the palette that I really love, that I always use for every day, is this brown sugar palette. And this is Karuchi by ColourPop. And once upon a time, um, <laughs> all of these did fall out. So they might not be in the right spot. If you have this palette, it might look a little crazy, but... That's beside the point. But the color that I'm gonna use in my crease area, which is what I always use, is this color Sorrel, which I'm hoping is the right color. And I place this into my creases. It's a little dark, but I just dusted. I'm, I'm not gonna add any more product to this brush. So today, I think we're gonna go for a matte lid. So I'm gonna go into this color Shy and which is like a beautiful nude and i'm gonna place this on the inner part of the lid like right here and i feel like for every day flawless you don't even have to do this part like <laughs> you really can just put concealer on your lids and set it with your powder and just go about your life <laughs> but i do want to pull in a little bit of soft glam into this so we are going in with a little bit of eyeshadow but it's very simple so that is pretty much all we're gonna do for that eye right there i'm gonna go ahead and dust off this powder because i don't want to bake too much and i'm also gonna save some time right now is when i put on my lash glue because i want to save some time let that sit and get tacky i'm actually gonna spray my face first before i actually go into the rest of the eyes i'm gonna spray my face with my urban decay all-nighter setting spray and really just let it seep into the skin and sometimes i will go in with my beauty blender and push it into the skin because that does help it to be more, you know, last longer throughout the day. And I forgot to put the color on the bottom lash line. I'm gonna also go into Sorrel and put that in the bottom lash line. I'm not gonna go in with a black liner because I feel like that's too harsh for every day. I think my everyday tutorial that I did just recently, I did use that, but some days are over. This is new. So I'm gonna go into this NARS liner and this is a brown liner. This is their high pigment long wear eyeliner and this is in Last Frontier. Just gonna go in on the end of the lash line. And I feel like that just gives you you know definition and I am gonna also go into this other NARS liner and it's a like a cream a cream liner but it's like yeah it's like a cream an off-white and put this on the bottom lash line so before we go ahead and put on our lashes we're gonna go in with mascara top and bottom well I'm gonna go top and then I'm gonna do bottom <laughs> and then pop on some lashes and I believe these are from ColourPop. I'm feeling real cute right now. Uh, I feel like I feel even cuter once I get my highlight popping. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead with my mascara on the bottom lash line real quick. And I barely have lashes, so I will go in with it like this to kind of create thicker lashes on the bottom. And for highlighter today, we could go in with a blush. I think we should do blush. I usually don't do blush, and this is my everyday, so let's nix the blush. I think we're just gonna go ahead and with the highlighter, and this is still my OG highlighter. And this is from ColourPop and Shayla, and this is Pose. Pretty. And what I love about this highlighter is that it's copper. Like, it's a gold, it's like a dark gold color. And I like that it's a loose highlighter too because I feel like I can really control the placement and I can make it stark, bright, blind you, but I also can make it very subtle as well. And that's what I love about this highlighter. So if you're looking for a staple highlighter, she's it. If you use like Maybelline, Maybelline Master Chrome um, in Molden Gold, that's like a bright gold. This one is more of a coppery color and that's what i love about it it's beautiful for darker darker complexions and i'm gonna go in a little bit with some brow bone highlight not too much i don't want this to be crazy who is texting me and i'm actually about to stop using this fan brush too for 2019 i mean for 2020 because i don't really like it 
I don't like the application of it anymore because I feel like it puts it in places where I don't want it to be. So I'm actually nixing this. I hate that I just used it for you guys, but I'm gonna go in more with something like this or something that's more tailored to place my highlight exactly like where I want it. Cause that frame brush is just not serving me anymore. So we are nearing the end here. For lips, I'm gonna go into my BFF4 liner from, ah! It just fell out. What's going on today? I'm gonna go in with my BF, BFF4 liner from ColourPop. And this is a great, like, affordable lip liner for someone of my complexion. It's beautiful, it's deep, and it really gives you what you need. And I'm gonna go in with a gloss, and this is also ColourPop, and this is PS. And then I wanna add a lighter gloss in the middle, because I do love ombres. Y'all know me, I love an ombre lip. Um, but even with glosses, you can do ombre. So this is also from ColourPop, and this is in Irreplaceable. And I'm gonna place this right in the middle. And that, my love, is our everyday flawless routine for 2020. All right, y'all, so this is our finished look. This is pretty much the routine that I do on a regular basis if I just want to look presentable and I'm just trying to be out in the streets looking cute, this is her. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, more of an in-depth type of tutorial, especially to start off the beautiful year of 2020. All of the details of everything that I use is in that description box, so please make sure that you check that out if you want to know what I use, and that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a big thumbs up if you like it. Comment below and let me know what you thought about it. Also, if you have not yet, please make sure that you have hit subscribe below so that you are updated every time that I drop a new video, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>